Welcome to The Writer Reads an Extract from 365 Days of Flash Fiction. Today we're reading from the 14th of September. The title of the story is No Secret Safe. The first secret was revealed at dawn. Sigrun sweated, hearing her little sister deliver it to her father's fiercest friend and most deadly foe. Felt her stomach grow cold. Now Valgad had what he needed. Sigrun stood a jug of mead on the tray. She did not know why her father and Valgad's friendship had soured. She only knew it had. She could mark the day Helder started keeping secrets from his friend. They had hoped, but not known, Eatha would find her gift so soon, or that she would be alone when she revealed the vital thread. Sigrun shivered as Eatha's piping tones filled the hall. The one you seek. She hides in shadow but revels in the light. She'll put a torch to the darkest parts of your soul and reveal all. Valgad had betrayed them, but only Father knew. He had explained to Sigrun when he'd rejected Valgad's bid for her hand. No daughter of mine will give him the power. Sigrun had been hard put to hide her relief. She'd heard stories of Valgad's lovemaking and long suspected the cruelty rotting at his core. Valgad and her father had taken their rite of passage in the mountains, journeying there together. But only her father had returned whole, and he had not suspected Valgad could be touched, not by something he had shaken off with a mere shrug of the heart. Helda had not known that Valgad had no heart, that Valgad had not grown into the man his boyhood had promised that the salamander had swept the boy away in a night beyond Valgad's wildest fantasies, bringing him to manhood and consummating her success by leaving him in an agony for more. And she'd done something else as well. Salamanders, slimy by nature, subtle infectors of the mind and will, and other parts. Sigrun had heard rumours, and they were not pretty. Sigrun laid bread and cheese beside the jug. She knew the salamanders well. She'd been fighting them all her childhood dreams. For her, the gift of sight had manifested as early as Eatha's, but not as something to reveal what others needed to know. No, Sigrun waged war in her sleep, slipping beneath the dream shadow to follow the trails left by their enemies, directing her father and his men to their prey. In her own way, Sigrun had more blood on her hands than they. Eatha could not have known the one Valgad sought, that the salamanders suspected her existence, or the existence of one like her and raged to unveil them. As she listened to her little sister's first prophecy, Sigrun sweated and she smiled. Eatha's sight was strong. Sigrun indeed hid in shadow, and she loved the light more fiercely than life itself, or she would not do what she did so well. Her father knew it and her mother knew it, but the warriors did not, and therein lay a portion of the bitterness feeding Valgad's treacherous heart. Valgad felt he had been Heldar's friend long enough that the chieftain should keep nothing from him. Heldar had not become chieftain by giving away more trust than he had to, and his secrecy had kept Sigrun safe, giving his tribe the edge against their hereditary foe. Valgad would feed them all to the salamanders, but only if he caught Eatha's thread. For their survival, the tribe needed him to notice it, and he did. The big man crouched in front of the three-year-old, placing a hand on either shoulder. It will do you no good to harm me, Eatha said, still in the grip of her gift, terror in her eyes, but serenity in her face and voice. Sigrun knew, as she tucked the knife behind the loaf and hefted the tray, that Eatha's gift would eclipse her own. The thought made her fear for her sister's life in spite of Valgad's next words. I will not harm you, little one. Liar! You would harm us all if you knew how! Eatha's voice was losing its serenity, but sounded much older than her three years. Abruptly the child stilled, and her voice became calm once more. She will kill you, you know. Valgad glanced nervously around the hall, but the few warriors eating there appeared to be deep in conversation, and Sigrun had held herself just inside the kitchen door. The warrior glared at the child, 
I think you should be abed, he snarled, and Eatha stared at him wide-eyed. She will sear your soul. Who? Valgad shouted as Sigrun stepped into the room. Uncle Valgad, she said, but he ignored her. Ignored the warriors shifting carefully in their seats, preparing their weapons. Who? he roared, shaking Eatha so hard her head snapped back and forth, shaking her so hard she fell out of the trance and began to wail. Mama! Valgad relaxed. Your mama's no threat to me, he said, and seemed to recognise that Eatha was no longer a seer. Mama! Eatha shrieked again, beside herself in the way that only toddlers can be. Sigrun caught a whiff of heat in the air. Your mama's long gone, little one, Valgad said. She died birthing you. With a twist of vindictive acid, he added, You killed your mama, and now she can't answer. It was a lie, and Sigrun breathed easier that Eatha was no longer entranced. The second secret was safe a little while longer. Mama! Eatha screamed, and Sigrun tossed the tray to one side. The disrespect Valgad showed for Helda's long-departed wife and the child she had been forced to abandon revealed the rot. A frisson of power flew across Sigrun's skin, and the longhouse doors slammed open, sheared from their hinges. Sigrun swept Eatha from Valgad's grasp and kept running. She had learnt to hide in shadow and revel in the light at her mama's knee, back when Valgad had been her father's friend. But what mama could ignore her child? Valgad's scream revealed all. Dragon! If you've enjoyed this story, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I will check you later. Take care out there.